Hey guys, this is Feeder, and this is a video sort of in response to a question I've received, which is if you have some keys and you really want to open boxes with them, which boxes would I recommend opening? I would go for gemstone cache boxes because um, I feel like most chests that you're unboxing, people are, are looking for basically for the courier, and most of the other items in the box are probably like 35 to 50 cents. So you're likely to lose out quite a bit um, if you don't end up getting the courier. Um, gemstone cash always comes with a chisel, which is um, I think around like 60 cents on the Steam market right now. So you're guaranteed to get like at least a fifth of what you put in back and then two gems. So sort of like a more, I guess, less risky thing to open if you're if you're into opening stuff. Anyway, so let's get to it. Um, I just got four of these and see what's in them, give you guys an idea of what you can get and uh, how much you put in, how much you get out. So yeah, if I was opening boxes, this is probably what I would open. Especially there's a bunch of gems that you can't get in a lot of places, but you can get here. Ooh, dagger crits. Uh, this is good. I think any PA gems are, are doing pretty well. And uh, flare kills is probably not worth very much. But no matter what, you've always got the chisel, which is pretty sweet. Uh, obviously, pudge gems are the best. Um, Luna gems, I think, you can't get anywhere else right now, so those are pretty sweet. There's a the pudge gem already. Um, Dismember kills. And creeps enchanted is not going to go for very much. But I'll, I'll calculate up um, using the Steam Market over here how good or not this was, so. Coca, okay, it's good. Let's hear up power shots. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I don't have any Windrunner gems yet. I didn't even know, didn't even know they existed. Sweet. Okay. Still missing that countdown. <laughs> All right. So let me just qualify this with, normally, these do not go this well. Um, this is going to end up being a lot, and I'm worried that it's going to give you guys the wrong idea. Um, it's not likely to get this many Pudge and Kunkka gems and stuff like that. So I'm going to add it up, but I'm also going to tell you, like, don't expect these kind of results, okay? Sound good? Alright, so this is the boring part, so... And we're opening. I'm just going to be looking things up and adding them. Ookie dukes. Uh, flare kills. Actually, let's start with chisels, because I have four of those. So chisel five. And you put the five because a lot of people will sell chisels with less than five charges, which kind of sucks. Okay, they're 55 right now. Uh, but that's only for a little bit of the page. Chisels sell out quickly enough that I would list it for 60 cents or more, looking at a page like this. Um, things like chisels and keys tend to have high turnover on the Steam Market, so it's worth it um, picking a price further down the page and listing it at that. So I definitely uh, will be doing that later. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. What did I say the next one was? Flare kills. Flare kills. 29 cent gem. So this is a shitty gem. A lot of the gems that you're gonna get are gonna be like this one. So don't, please don't, don't get all excited about this. All right, so dagger crits. I feel like I should be writing this down somewhere. Hang on, maybe I will. So in a separate window, I'm just gonna be adding these up so that I can kind of give you a, an idea at the end of it. Okay, said dagger crits. Crits. Oh, that's not as good as I thought. Huh. Alright, it's probably like a dollar after this person sells theirs. So, I'm going to put out what I'm listing at, and remember that when you list stuff on the Steam Market, you're only going to get 85% of it. So, I will take that into account as well. Assuming you're getting your keys there and then selling stuff back. Okay, Dismember Kills is, I don't think, one of the very popular Pudge Gems, if I remember properly. Yep, 196 for that one. Could probably list that for $2. Okie dokes. Next one, Creeps Enchanted. 
Last I checked, I think that was like 25 to 35 cents, but I'll the hell of it keep doing this. Creeps Enchanted, 28 cents. Okay. And I think, yeah, that's probably pretty reasonable. Okay, next. Next, Double Hero Torrents. Okay, that's 337. Let me just double check and make sure that's. I could probably list it for 345. Always check, by the way, when you're listing, don't just look at what that price is because every once in a while someone will list something for a bit lower than you should be able to get for it. So you want to actually check and make sure that you can that you can go ahead and um, get what you should be getting for your gems or any other items really that you're listing on the sea market. Wow, power shot kills is twelve bucks. Where are these coming from? It must be um, there must be some inscribed windrunner thing out now. Damn, I wouldn't spend twelve bucks on that. Okay, let's say one forty for this one. I'm not going to sell it, I'm going to stick that right into my Windrunner gear and have fun with it, but <laughs> let's assume for the purpose of this that I definitely want to calculate that in. Alright, Unseen Enemies Hooked is just sweet. Um, I have a feeling that one's going to be pretty good, yeah that's 10 bucks. So I made back the unbox right there, just with that one gem, and that's kind of like the nice thing about this. And even look at it, like the lowest one is 10.05. But then it goes to 1020, 1058. I'd probably list something like this for like maybe 1095 and hope to get in under that person. But for the purposes of this, I'll just call it $10. So you're learning about my listing habits, if anyone cares. If anyone's still watching, uh, call damage done. Axe gem. Probably not likely to be too popular, but who knows? Oh, not bad. Uh, 115. Wow, someone sold one for a lot less than that earlier today. Yeah, you notice like there's all these and then suddenly it jumps up. But I would probably, since there's so many at 115, I would probably list this at 114. Okay, so the total I'm getting is 1956, but we gotta remember if I'm selling these on the Steam Market that I need to multiply by 0 0.85. Okay, so 1663 is what I'd be making, but if I sold everything that I just unboxed on the Steam Market, and I did not include the chisels. So add like, you know, 45 cents times whatever, just add about $2. So that's pretty decent. I for the keys, the keys are a little less than 250 each. So less than $10 to do that unbox and got back more than $10. So you can see why that's why I would recommend doing this. Of course, if I didn't get this one really good pudge gem, then suddenly it's not quite so good. But the fact is, like, there's a lot of really decent gems out there. So, if you're wondering what I would recommend you unbox, if you want to unbox, I would say go for those gemstone cash chests. Um, but honestly, the truth is, it's better not to unbox at all, but use your keys and just buy what you want. Okay. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I take a look at those and I try to answer as many as I can. Um, everyone, I hope that watched this far, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you like. I do more stuff like this um, pretty often. And have a great night.